We grew up on a farm, we're farm kids, and uh, that's where it started and just took off from there. Yeah, you, you grow up on the, on the farm helping mom and dad. You don't really think about agriculture as a job. It's kind of who you are. Just what you do. Actually, I started with an ag education major and then I realized that that really wasn't the demographic that I wanted to work with, but I love talking to people about agriculture. So I actually went to the agronomy world and worked at our local co-op uh, for several years before I actually came into the company when there was an opening on the precision training team that was previously held by my sister. So when I started with the company, I started in that precision training team. I spent about five years there and then transitioned to be our uh, precision marketing manager for Case IH. So that was the transition from CNH Industrial into the Case IH brand. Um, spent a couple of years in that role and have now transitioned to my my management role within the, the precision team. Dad loves that we are both working for Case IH. He has always had red equipment and now he gets to see some of the new stuff as it comes out. And boy, he is just a kid in a candy store. <laughs> uh, when we were able to be a part of the Built by Farmers campaign, um, we didn't tell him that we were going to be in the Farm Forum magazine. So that just kind of was a, was a surprise for him. And, and I think it's really cool that um, he gets to experience a little bit of that as well. And we've got a sister in between us that's also, also involved in agriculture. She does not work here yet. yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but just, I, I know that, that both of our parents are really, really proud of the things that we've done. When we were working on the farm, we didn't really think of it as anything special. We were just doing chores. We were just doing what we were told. And then when I went to college, and it really wasn't much different. There were a lot of other women in my ag classes. Once I entered the workforce in agronomy, uh, it's a little bit different world. You know your product, you do your job well, and you can earn the respect of those customers and show that we have just as much of a place in this world as anyone else. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Don't let anybody say that's too heavy, that's too big, that presentation is too important. If it's your role, your place, you know it, embrace it. Yet. <laughs> Why are to you start. Here? Why are you here? I got you an internship. You did. You did. She did give me an internship. From a mentoring conversation, it's something that you have to seek out within the company, whether you're um, a woman in egg or a young professional, seeking out a mentor is a really important first step when you start to join the company and start to move on. And I think one of the key things in finding a mentor is finding someone that you admire how they lead, how they interact with people and embracing that and learning what you can from them. This company is full of knowledge and people willing to share and help uh, people as they come into the company and as they progress through their careers. So we have a, a huge resource to tap into there. We do work together a lot and we do work together, I think, pretty well. Yeah. Um, we make a lot of requests, bounce a lot of things off of each other, but there is a uh, can be an element of competitiveness between us and just having such a similar you know, obviously similar upbringing, similar career path in some some ways that um, there, there's a little bit of that. There is, there is. You can always tell on a yield map who combined what. Come on. <laughs> I drive faster than she does. So CNH Industrial, if you start to look across the, uh, the company, there's actually a lot of siblings um, and relation, different relations that work for the company. And I think that's something that is very unique about CNH Industrial is, is attracting that agriculture background or even interest for those people that didn't grow up on a farm. Um, it does kind of run in the family. <laughs>